everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we want to find the value of this expression. 8 divided by 8 divided by 8 and again divided by 8. Are you ready to solve? Let's go and get started. 8 divided by 8 gives us 1. 1 divided by, and here again we have 8 divided by 8, which equals 1. So, 1 divided by 1 is just 1. But this answer is not correct. Yeah. Because we have to move from left to right according to the order of operations. So here, first this division, then this division, and finally this division. Cream. 8 divided by 8 gives us 1. So 1 divided by 8 and again divided by 8. No. 1 divided by 8 can be written as 1 over 8. So 1 over 8 divided by 8. Okay? And here, according to the KCF rule, KS stands for keep, CS stands for change, and F stands for flip. Keep the first fraction, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Or second fraction is 8 over 1. So, we can write 1 over 8, okay? 1 over 8 times 1 over 8. And this is equal to 1 over 8 times 8, which equals 64. So, our final answer to this problem is just 1 over 64. 1 over 64. 4 divided by 2, again divided by 2, and divided by 4. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and to start it. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. And here we have division and 2 divided by 4. 2 over 4. Okay, 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So 2 divided by 1 over 2. 2 divided by 1 over 2. And uh, here, according to the KCF rule, uh, 2 divided by 1 over 2 can be written as 2 times just 2. And this is equal to 4. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, we have to move from left to right. Okay? So, first this division, and then this division, and finally this one. Okay? 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. So, 2 divided by 2 and divided by 4. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So 1 divided by 4. Okay? So therefore, our final answer to this problem is just 1 over 4. <laughs> 10 divided by 1 over 5 times 10. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get this started. 1 over 5 times 10. We can write 10 divided by 5, okay? And 10 divided by 5 equals just 2. So, 10 divided by this 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, uh, multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to move from left to right. In this expression, first we see division. So, uh, first we have to handle this division. 10 divided by 1 over uh, 5. So, here according to the KCF rule, K stands for keep, C stands for 
change and F stands for flip. Keep the first fraction, which is 10 over 1. Change division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction. Okay, so according to this uh, rule, we can write 10 times 5 and times 10. No, 10 times 5 gives us 50. So 50 times 10, which equals 500. So our final answer to this problem is just 500. Four divided by one over four, then times four. Our goal is to find the value of this expression. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here uh, we have one over four and times four. We can easily cancel this four and this four. So, four divided by just one. And this is equal to four. But this answer is not correct because according to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. So here, first uh, we have to handle this division, okay? 4 divided by 1 over 4. According to the KCF rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Keep the first fraction, which is 4 over 1. And change division to multiplication and flip the second fraction. Okay, so our expression equals 4 times uh, just 4 and again times 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. And 16 times 4 gives us 64. So, our final answer to this problem is 64.